It's a beauty. Ow! Okay, Rico, okay, Rico. You're fine, you're fine. Let's go ahead and let him go in his cage. Go in there, buddy. Good morning everybody welcome to the vlog it is so good to start my day back here in michigan of course we're going to be working on the reptarium today but i want to go through a couple eggs that hatched while i was gone because i was gone a couple days and a bunch of snakes hatched look at this now this is a beautiful clutch but to be honest with you this has a little bit of a tragedy to it remember that banana chocolate king spin that keeps on missing on everything well guess what he missed on everything again i tell you what for whatever reason i just cannot produce banana chocolate stuff regardless this is really beautiful here this this is a banana spinner right here. Wow, that thing is crazy. And of course, this is a little banana spider. We've got some chocolates, so it's weird that he produced chocolates, but no banana chocolates. And there's a chocolate pinstripe over here. Another beautiful little spider and banana spider here. So the clutch was absolutely beautiful, but again, we keep missing on the things that I want to, and I think that might have been the last clutch. So I think that we are whiffed for the year. Hey, that's the way it goes. Next year, we'll give it a better shot. Look at here, a couple little albino ball pythons hatch. There was only three eggs in this clutch, but we got two albinos and a little heterozygous. Considering a recessive mutation like this bred to a heterozygous is 50%, I'm glad I got two albinos and one het instead of two hets and one albino. And look at how cute those little monkeys are. Oh my God, I love albino ball pythons. This clutch was actually a dragonfly. This here is a little firefly. Looks like we've got another firefly, another firefly, a little fireball python. And then these two right here are actually fire pinstripes, which are really pretty. But remember that crazy fire pinstripe I hatched last week that looks nothing like this? This is what a normal fire pinstripe would look like. That gives you an idea how crazy that other one was. And lastly, look at this clutch right here. Oh, doggy. This is actually a pastel enchi banana ball python bred to a spider. Oh my gosh. This is a little banana enchi right here. We have, oh, look at this right here. Oh, doggy. This is a little pastel banana enchi spider here. Oh my God. Look at the head pattern on that thing. That thing is ridiculous. Oh, and wow, look at this. This is the exact same one, but look at the pattern on that. Oh, doggy, that is incredible. There is some amazing animals in this clutch, and look at this one here. This is just an enchi spider, but oh my god. Gosh, look at all these amazing snakes. It is so good to be back here. I will be so bummed when we run out of eggs because it's been so exciting. Regardless, what do you say? We head over to the shop, see what's going on there, and see what's happening at the Reptarium. Back at BHB, I have to go to a quick meeting on the window graphics up front, but we uh, we have some help. Miguel and Brian are helping Eric. Eric, uh, you got this under control? I'm super excited, yep. I'm gonna get him to work. Probably go get a coffee or something and uh, switch the old movie out at the Red Box. What? We'll come Lori, what, what, what? Oh, Lori, I didn't know Lori was standing there. <laughs> well, I'm going to help him. I'll stay here and help him. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this meeting done. If you want to see the kind of behind the scenes, it's going to be on Miguel's channel over there. Uh, I have no idea. I don't think that, Lori, can you keep an eye on these guys? Yeah, this is not good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys in a few. Behave, guys. Yep. Behave. You got it. Behave. I was like, I was like, there's no see, way I'm working. Go, I'm working. Bro. I, Wait a second. I see something. First, Eric, what nope. are you? What? I had to come get them, guys. You... Listen, they were bullying me. They made me buy them sodas and pop and stuff. And <laughs> We need well, the sodas and pop. No, I'm just I... kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, they thought... were doing a good job. We did a decent job. I, I like to think we did a really, really good job, actually. Brian, I'm not going to lie. I quit. And I came to work for Mary. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, I left and it, he was working for you and now yeah. all of a sudden you're working for Mary. That's crazy. Yeah. I'm back. Obviously, window design's looking great. I cannot wait to. And so I think we're going to install sometime next week before the opening. But with the opening of the Reptarium in mind, Miguel, me and yes. you have to do something. You yes, ready? Yes, we do. I'm ready. Let's do go. It. I am super excited about this. You know that I'm like 10 days away from hopefully opening up the Reptarium. Well, my buddy Miguel here from Always Evolving Pythons, he actually came to me with a great idea, and I am super jazzed about this. So many of you guys want to come, you want to see the Reptarium, but maybe you don't have the means to do it. So guess what? Miguel has actually said that he would sponsor a contest to fly one of you guys out from the United States to come spend a day with me and my crew here alone. So we're going to have it on an off day when we're not open up. Miguel's going to come out, right? 
right? Yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna come out myself. I'm gonna fly the winner and take care of the flight, the hotel, and you guys, we're gonna be able to hang out with Brian and do a lot of cool different stuff out here and check out the awesome zoo. Now we get into the details. You have to go over to Always Evolving Python's YouTube channel. I'm gonna put the link in the description. You need to subscribe to him. He is gonna announce more of the details on his YouTube channel, and then he is gonna pick randomly one of you guys who has subscribed to his channel and doing something like make a comment or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. Now, it's not gonna be for the grand opening. It's gonna be sometime in October or early November. We'll kind of work around your schedule, so make sure you can get off of work or whatever the case may be. But the first thing you need to do is go to Miguel's page always evolving pythons on youtube and subscribe wait for his announcement and the pressure's on man. yeah then i'll start you know announcing more details and how we're going to go about it but yeah we're going to pick um, a random person from there and then we'll touch base and go from there it's exciting guys so for someone that thought you wanted to come see the reptarium but you didn't think you would have the means miguel is going to make that an actual reality so thank you so much for miguel no, for even you. doing this and uh, i just wanted to share this with you i'm super excited so go check him out tell him i sent you and uh, hopefully i will see one of you guys and miguel here in the next six or eight weeks. This is an awesome snake right here, Miguel. I think you'll really like it. It's oh, a beauty. Ow! <laughs> Jeez. Oh, 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 ow! Whoa, this thing is... What did you do, it's not Miguel? that this nice. Came. Yeah, not that tame. Thing caught me a couple times. <laughs> Miguel, what did you do, man? <laughs> What's wrong with this thing? This snake was as tame as could be. Right, please put him back in. I'll put him back in. Oh, oh gosh. No. Oh, remember the. Ah! Oh, that hurt. I can't believe he's Yeah. Miguel, what happened, man? I've, that snake has never bit oh, anyone. What, no. What did you do? I was um, blowing kisses at it. You know. Oh my gosh! It just. It blew some back. <laughs> just doesn't like guys uh, from California. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. I figured that. Oh gosh. See some baby clubers that hatch, got some corn snakes. Look at how gorgeous these guys are. Oh, doggy. Look at these cute little monkeys right here. We have a little creamsicle corn over here, over there, and a bunch of hat creamsicles as well. And then we have these. Oh my gosh. These, of course, are T positive albino Nelsons and albino Nelsons milk snakes. Oh my God. Those things are amazing. Lori always appreciates the art. She's the one that's bought all this type of stuff. So I was kind of excited to show her this. What did you think? Well, I wasn't sure, yeah, where it came from or whose it was. It's not like you to come home with something like this. Normally, what you come home with is live, but that wasn't possible. So, <laughs> so I got the next best thing, but this is amazing. I know this looks like it is a picture. But it's actually pastel painting, and it's unbelievable. Oh, okay, yeah, Jessica was asking about it this morning, and she thought that's what it was. I didn't know, obviously, because I didn't get it, but uh, she called it right. I really want to put this somewhere that's like really stands out. You got any ideas? We're running out of space in here, but I think, I think we have some room up above the lockers. That would be Way nice as soon as you walk in. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, because again, this is this is amazing. I want people when they walk in to see it. I don't know that I could put it over in the Reptarium because there's really no space because the walls are all rock. So uh, I think I'm going to put it up there. I think that'll be the most viewed spot in the whole office. So all right, I'm going to do it. There you go. I think it looks good. We're going to take a break from everything that's going on here. And Brian Cusco is about to teach Eric some, what is he doing? Yogurt, uh, yogurt. We're going to eat some yogurt. Something. We're gonna eat some yogurt. <laughs> so these guys are going to do some, what is it called? I'm a little nervous about it. Just to be, I don't know what it's going to be called. We'll figure out what it's called after we're done with it. And we'll okay. come up with a name for okay. it. I'm pretty flexible. Not really, I'm just kidding. <laughs> here we go. All right, so here we go. Okay. So I've never done this before, just yeah, to be either. honest. Yeah, so, I mean, so, <laughs> so, I'm nervous. So you just come come walk up to me and you're gonna put All right. right. I'm gonna kind of like, okay. right in here, okay. like right at the top right of your hips. Right in the hips. squishy, all right. You just kind of lean into me. Just okay, like, just, just lean, lean, okay, all right. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh I, I went too fast, I went too fast. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, I'm gonna you just, did. I'm gonna ease into her. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, God, oh my God, oh my God. Are you up? Yep, yep. Oh, jeez, jeez. Wait, it's working though, it's working. Should we put some like music on or something? I'm doing we'll, we'll, we'll All right, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, hold on. All right, because sucking it in doesn't change yeah, my weight. Eric, no, 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 it doesn't. Eric, just, just jump this way. The, the don't jump that way. It's going to be in a full body cast on the airplane. The, the idea. Yeah, yeah stand over there in case I fall. You definitely got to be more relaxed. More all right, relaxed. all right. Yeah. Just yeah. relax. So loosen up here. Here we go. All right, really, I'm feeling the chi, bro. There we go. Whoa! Oh, my God. No, you almost fell. Yeah, I got scared. 
You guys we had it, we did it. I was flying. I felt like I was flying. Ooh, I'm flying! Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> this is some weird stuff. <laughs> so legitimately, Miguel did like this entire rack. He started on his second rack already. So it's it's awesome. I can't thank him enough for his help. But uh, I tell you, it's dead serious. You know, not only is the contest amazing, but Miguel is legitimately one of my best friends. He is what the hobby needs to be. And I know I'm going to embarrass him by saying this, but I truly think that the just his whole representation of how he does his business, treats people, everything is amazing. I can't thank him enough for helping me with it, all the things he helps me with. So please do me a favor and show this guy some love. It sucks that he goes, I'm just going to miss you, brother. But I'm going to see him in like two days That's out true. in L.A. So it's not going to be long. But uh, thank you for your help. Oh, here, man. Too, man, no worries, brother. Anytime. Yeah. Yeah. I'm certainly sad to see Brian and Miguel go. I tell you what, we had an absolutely amazing time. But you know what? Speaking of amazing time, I'm going to try to move at least one or two animals over to the Reptarium every day for you guys. So let me know in the comments which animal you'd like me to move over there tomorrow or animals move over there tomorrow. Of course, we'll have kind of a mass move over there within the next week or so. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and bring Rico over. <laughs> and just take a look at this insane monkey here. He's going to be an absolutely great animal for display because he's always going to be moving. I've got a cage I think will work so that he's kind of out in the open a little bit so people can see him. But I might have to put some hiding areas in for him. I'm not 100% sure. What do you say we go? over to the Reptarium and let him go and just see what he does in his new cage. My goodness, this guy is a handful. Oh my gosh, what an absolute nutcase. Okay, Rico, okay, Rico, you're fine, you're fine. Let's go ahead and let him go in his cage. Go in there, buddy, go in there. There you go, bud, there you go, bud. You can go wherever you want. Okay, there you go, bud. Oh yeah, there you go, there you go, buddy. Look at him. Oh, he is gonna look so amazing in this cage. And look at all the air that he can crawl around. I figure it's kind of cool with this little banyan root right here. We've got some spots up here where he can go. He can kind of crawl all over the place. And again, it's like I said, there's a chance I might have to do some hiding spots over here. I'm not 100% sure. I'll wait and see how he actually is in a day or two, and then I can make a decision. But in the meantime, look at how amazing that is. Oh my gosh. I just, again, think of kids and other people coming in and getting an opportunity to look in a cage like this and say oh my god what a beautiful snake I mean it really does look like a king cobra right here so I'm gonna let him settle in for a little bit but take a look at sunrise over here look at how great she looked I mean look at that how amazing she's looking she's settling in so nicely into her new cage look at her she seems so happy I tell you what every time I get an animal in the reptarium I just get so excited about it well, tomorrow's the big day I'm gonna spend the day trying to fix Lucy's tank fix the waterfall make sure that there's no leak we basically have changed out the bedding but i needed to put that aside just until tomorrow we're gonna go at it and hopefully with any luck it'll be an easy fix in the meantime i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog because it's been some long long days i definitely need some rest because in just two days i have to head out to the west coast out to la just for a day and then i'll be back and continue to work on the reptarium i hope that you guys have an absolutely amazing day thank you as always for tuning in you guys mean the world to me and i truly do love you guys so much because if it wasn't for your support i wouldn't be able to fulfill my dreams like the Reptarium. So I do thank you for it so much. Do me a couple favors before we get out of here. Can you smash that like button? Turn those post notifications on. Make sure you leave a comment so I can read about you guys. Be kind to someone and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.